I call uh, Adrian Rafi. Tanakwe. Uh, tēnā koe e te māngai o te hare. O te noa e tika ana ki a tuku mi atu uh, ki a tātou kato o te rā ki a whakapiri taku mi atu ki te uh, mi e tuku no mai a uh, uh, tuku no inga nei a uh, pēni uh, ki te hare o te rā ki a rātou mā i te wā ingaro. Nō reira tēnā tātou kato. Uh, sir, it's a, indeed a pleasure to stand and, and take a call on this really important bill for our nation. Uh, as important as a uh, Waitangi itself. Waitangi, uh, the, which is said to be the birthplace of uh, our nation, and I'd, I'd uh, quickly add that the birthplace of our modern nation, sir. Uh, I think it's important that we recognise uh, the importance of the place, but also uh, to continually recognise the importance of the event that actually took place there and celebrate that. Uh, and in doing that, this bill, we, uh, and talking to this bill, we need to ensure that we make it the best that it can be. And I want to congratulate the Māori Affairs Select Committee, who, uh, through their work, actually made some really significant changes to the original bill. The bill that was uh, first introduced into the House in on the 7th of November 2013, so it's been a long time coming to this point. But the, uh, in particular, sir, um, the, the change in the acknowledgement uh, to the four whānau uh, so that they may each have a representative on the trust, and I think that was uh, very, very important, and I, and I made to the committee and to the uh, chair of the committee who has just resumed his seat, sir. Nō reira, e mihi ana hau ki ngā ānau nei, ki te ānau o hone heke, ki te ānau o mai i kawati, ki te ānau o tāmati waka nene, ki te ānau anō o pōmare, e tika ana ki a tuku mihi atu ki a rātou. I think it's important to, to do that because they take now as their place um, as individual whānau rather than collectively together. Uh, and I want to acknowledge that. Uh, sir, I want to um, also acknowledge the quite a significant change for which I would characterise as enhancing the partnership uh, between the Crown and uh, Ngā Iwi or Taitokero uh, uh, for this particular site. Uh, the removal of um, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and other um, uh, other members that have those memberships as in an ex officio capacity, removing them and then uh, establish, establishing the Crown representative group, uh, to, to me, takes them out of the, the trust, but also uh, continues the relationship in a more partnership model, and I think that's a, a, a good idea. Uh, I also um, uh, want to acknowledge that there will be um, a Member of Parliament appointed by uh, the Prime Minister and a Member of Parliament appointed by the Leader of the Opposition as trustees. Uh, so in that way, the Parliament still gives the recognition to that trust uh, as being very important to the Parliament. Uh, and, but the relationship uh, is between the Trust and the Crown representative group. Uh, and, and I think that's a, a very nice way of, of uh, maintaining the representation of the Parliament, but also having the Crown uh, iwi relationship uh, continuing in that capacity. Uh, I do want to touch on also the, um, the term uh, of uh, each trustee being changed to a three-year term with a maximum of, of nine years. Uh, and uh, during the committee stages, I, I, I did um, um, say that I, I agreed with that, and I continue to agree with that. Uh, but I do recognise the contribution of other members uh, that spoke to that, that point. Um, and there has been a long tradition of 
uh, not only this particular trust, but a number of trusts, Māori trusts, uh, um, and organisation, where the, we do tend to have a, a long uh, membership um, continuing on, um, and I think that's more of a reflection of rangatiratanga. Uh, and leadership within our, our people. Uh, I, I, th I think I, I want to uh, still support the idea of having a nine-year term in, in this instance here. But I think it's really important that we uh, put in place perhaps um, some measures within the tr trust to ensure that there is continuity, that we don't end up with, after three years, the, all of the, those representatives being changed at one, at one time, and that, I think that's something for the, the trust to work on at the appropriate time. Uh, so, uh, f finally, I, I, I just want to um, recognise that in September of this year, Heritage New Zealand gave the status uh, to uh, Waitangi of being a wahi tupuna. And I, I think it's... Uh, uh, very important that that happened. I also want to suggest uh, to the House and to, uh, uh, to the Parliament and to, to, to the Government that uh, we should surely be looking at uh, this special place to us as New Zealanders uh, going through the process of becoming a World Heritage Site. I think that Waitangi is not only important to our country, but it's actually really important to the whole world. And in discussions that I've had on a personal level with Indigenous peoples from around the world who quite often visit our country on the, on the basis uh, of quite a, a special um, treaty between Crown and uh, Māori, uh, the Treaty of Waitangi. A and so I think this place is a rep representation of the treaty and that acknowledgement from others around the world. And so I thought I'd finish on, on, on that, uh, that this place is so important that it ought to be a World Heritage Site. Nō reira, e tika ana ki a tuku mihi atu ki ngā iwi katoa o Taitokerau. Nō reira, tēnā tātou.